This week's cool tool is a plugin. It's actually one of two plugins that I have been testing from this particular company. And both of them are very cool tools. I shall be showing you the other one on a future video. But this one is called Digilink Doctor. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, why do I need to pay for plugins for my WordPress site when most plugins are free? And actually, there was a time when most people wouldn't even consider buying a plugin. But now there are some really good paid ones on the market that do things that the free ones can't do or don't do as well. I actually have about four or five paid plugins that I use on a regular basis on pretty much all my WordPress sites simply because they do an excellent job. And of course, because you've paid for them, the developers tend to update them very quickly every time there's a WordPress update, which of course is quite often. So this one is called Digilink Doctor, and this is especially useful on older sites, although worth putting on any site. And essentially it detects when you have incoming links that are broken. Now, normally, if you have a broken incoming link to your website, what will normally happen is if it's a WordPress site, it will normally go to what's called a 404 page. And it is worth having your 404 page set up so it tells people who have come to your site but not found the page that they want what to do next. So, in fact, if I show you the SWBN... The SWBN 404 page. It tells people there's a problem, not to worry, it's not their problem, and that they can do one of three things. They can do a search up here. They can pick a topic over here to look for something in particular, or they can click on the home page above here and go back to the home page and see if there's anything that takes their interest, or they can fill in their name and email address here and get on our mailing list to be kept updated. So it's always worth having a 404 page on your blog. And if you don't know how to do that, there are lots of tutorials to show you online how to do a decent 404 page. But for various reasons, you know, you get these broken links over a period of time. The SWBN now is a few years old. So of course, we're going to have broken links for various reasons, either because we've created a, web, a page or a post that for whatever reason has had to be deleted. It doesn't happen very often in terms of posts, but it has happened with pages. Or sometimes your plugins and things may throw up odd URLs. I don't know enough technical details to know why they do that. But it happens and you want to know that you're not losing the power of that link simply by having to redirect people to a 404 page. Uh, if you know why people are coming to your site based on the link, you want to be able to serve them the best you can and Digilink Doctor enables you to do this. So if you read through the page, you'll actually see it talks about link juice, talks about not losing high quality traffic or damaging your reputation. You can find out a lot more about it here. But what it essentially does is it notices when a bad link comes in and it gives you the opportunity of choosing where that link is going to go. And if I take you into the settings, so I'm inside WordPress now, you just upload it like you do any WordPress plug in and then you come down here on the left you'll see digilink doctor here so i'm going to click on that and initially you set up your settings and the default is to redirect people to your front page you might actually want to redirect them to the 404 page because if you've set it up to be as helpful as possible that actually isn't a bad place to go. At the moment, I've got it on front page. Um, if you want to know as soon as a new broken link is found, you can click on that. I didn't do that, or I did it initially with the SWBM, but a lot of broken links have been found and it gets a bit annoying when you keep getting the emails. So instead, I've just put send an email once per week with an activity summary. The activity summary looks like this. 
The DigiLink Doctor has fixed 638 new broken links and protected your blog against 1,214 lost hits. 853 broken links await your approval. That sounds like a lot, but I'll show you what they are in a moment. But that's just to remind me, really, that I need to go and have a quick check to see what those links are and whether I can redirect them in a better way. So once you've set that up, you click Save Settings. And as you can see, you can actually redirect to posts. You can redirect to a particular page. You can send them somewhere completely different if you want. So you've got that option when you first set it up. And then you've got this repair option as well. And this basically shows you all the broken links and gives you the option of redirecting them somewhere other than to your home page or to your 404 page or whatever you've set as the default. So here you can see there's some kind of odd things going on. And I think in general, probably these broken links are being accessed by bots or something like that. So a lot of these, they just seem like gobbledygook and they've probably been thrown up because of plugins. Uh, for example, the Translate plugin that we've used over the years. That seems to be, I would say, what is causing most of these problems. So, for example, we had a coaching page at one point and we had various pages sub pages within that telling people about the coaching program, which at the moment is no longer running. So those pages have been put back into draft. So when I find one of those, when those pages appear, the best thing to do would be to direct people to a page that tells them something about coaching or the closest thing we have to coaching at the moment. Similarly, let's say you have decided you see this one here, off uh, need a niche online offshore banking and a load of gobbledygook. Let's click on that. And probably the best place to send this isn't the home page, isn't the 404 page. The best place to send this one is to that particular blog post, online offshore banking. So we're going to redirect to a post. And then... We're going to click on this and find the post. Ooh, I think I went past it. There it is, online offshore banking. And we're going to click repair links. And that will now redirect that particular URL, that particular broken link will now be redirected to the relevant blog post. And you can do that for all of them or you can choose to just send them to your 404 page or your home page. But it gives you a lot more options now, there's a page that's disappeared and it probably shouldn't have. So FTC declaration, that one either needs to be redirected to a relevant page or I need to go and find out why that page doesn't exist anymore and set it back up again. So it's also useful for reminding you if certain things have, for whatever reason, accidentally disappeared, which in my case was when I was redesigning the website, I probably accidentally put it into draft and forgot to publish it again. So I can go and do that. So that's essentially what DigiLink Doctor does. It's designed to really help you recover a lot of those backlinks and recover the juice from those links. And also, of course, more than anything, deliver to your visitors exactly the page and the information that they're interested in. If you'd like to see more of our Cool Tools videos, make sure you head over to the website at swbnetwork.com forward slash blog. And just do a little search up here for Cool Tools and you'll find a whole bunch of great tools that we use at the SWBN.